Typically, expressions in Python are entered on a single line. However, there is a way that expressions can span multiple lines. So let's talk about multi-line expressions. And first, let's go back to what we've seen before. Let's just take a little tiny expression, 3 plus 4. And in the interactive environment, when we hit return, we see the data that's generated by this expression, which is 7. So there's no surprise there. But let's try writing the 3 and then the plus sign on one line. And then on the next line, we'll try and write the 4. Now, with this short expression, there's no real need to do this. But in practice, you'll occasionally have very large expressions that, without being split, wouldn't fit on a single line of the window. So we have the 3 plus there, and let's try and enter the 4 on the next line. So I'll hit return now, and oops, that didn't work. The Python interpreter tries to interpret that line, but remember with arithmetic expressions, we had to have operand, operator, operand. And that's not what we had there. So when we wrote just 3 plus on a line, the interpreter tries to interpret that. That's not within the language of Python. It's a syntax error. It's broken grammar. OK, let's try something different. Let's put open parentheses, the 3, the plus sign. And now I'll hit return. We didn't get a syntax error. We don't see the interactive prompt on this new line where the cursor is flashing. And in fact, Python is waiting for us to finish the entry. It hasn't seen the close parentheses yet, so it says, OK, the expression continues on. Give me the rest of it. So let's write the 4 now, the close parentheses, and idle highlights in gray the region between the open and close parentheses. I'll hit space to remove that highlighting. And we could put more on this line if we want, maybe plus 5. Now when we hit return, we get 12. There was the 3 plus the 4 plus 5. So let's just explicitly note that we can use parentheses to have expressions span multiple lines. But there's another way we can construct expressions that span multiple lines. And I'll say that we can use the backslash character to indicate line continuation. So usually, when we hit return, that new line that's entered tells Python, OK, evaluate this expression, provided the line doesn't contain an open parentheses that isn't correspondingly matched with a closed parentheses, Python will evaluate the line once it sees that new line character. OK, let's put this to the test. Let's write 3 plus and then this backslash. And now just hit return. And that isn't evaluated. We don't get an error message. We just get the cursor blinking away on this next line without a new prompt. Let's write 4. We don't have any parentheses here. So let's hit return now, and we get 7. We don't want to belabor too much this issue of multi-line expressions. But to my mind, that backslash is not as attractive as simply using parentheses. And there's another advantage of using parentheses. We could put comments within the expression. So let's demonstrate that. How about if we put open parentheses 3 plus, and now let's just write a comment here and say maybe this is the number of players in a trio. So this is providing some context for that number 3. It's telling us where it's coming from. And that comment, of course, is all just ignored. Hitting return, we get the blinking cursor on the next line. Let's put 4, the close parentheses, and maybe say that 
this is the number of players in a quartet. And there are four players in a quartet. Now when we hit return, we get seven. Using the backslash approach, we simply can't do this. We can't get a comment embedded in the expression. So let's demonstrate this. Let's say three plus, and we want to say that this is the number of players, and we're talking about musical groups typically, in a trio. Okay, but we want to continue this on the next line, so if we put the backslash there now and hit return, we get a syntax error, and that's because this backslash becomes part of the comment, so Python doesn't think of that as saying, hey, ignore this new line at the end, it's going to continue on the next line. This expression is going to continue. So we might try something else. Let me recall, using that keyboard shortcut, uh, Control P or Alt P, and I'll erase the backslash there. I'll jump to the front of the line using another keyboard shortcut. And how about if I put the slash right there? That's the way we wrote it before, 3 plus slash. And now if we hit Return, and we still get a syntax error. Now it's saying there's an unexpected character after the line continuation character. Okay, so that's an example of why I personally prefer to use parentheses for expressions that span multiple lines, but you will occasionally see this backslash used in other people's code.